Hello, my name is Andreana Jones, and this is my lab final for biochemistry. So right now I'm gonna show you the basic structure of an amino acid group. And you have your hydrogen, your amino group, your carboxyl group, your alpha carbon, and this is your R group or your radical group. So in your R group or your radical group, that's the unique group on the amino acid because of the physical chemical characteristics such as your basic acidic, polar and nonpolar. Now I'm gonna show you two different molecules, which is glycine, and glutamic acid. So glycine, you have your amino group, your alpha carbon, your R group, your hydrogen, and your carboxyl group. The R group is nonpolar, but it has polar properties because it can participate in hydrogen bonding, and it's also the only amino acid that does not have two um, that does not have a chiral center. So in your glutamic acid, we have the same basic structure that I'm going to show, which is your amino group, your a carboxyl group, your alpha carbon, this is your hydrogen up here, and this down here is your entire R group. And this R group um, contains two CH2s, a carbon double bonded to an oxygen, an OH group, which makes this an acidic amino acid. So now I'm going to take an OH from your glutamic acid and then I'm going to take a hydrogen from your glycine. And I'm going to attach what I have left over from glycine. I'm going to attach it to this glutamic acid and I'm gonna put them together. And I'm gonna create this peptide bond here. And now I formed a dipeptide bond. So the sequence of this amino acid in the peptide chain is pri like the primary structure of this protein. And then your N-terminus will be your glutamic acid and your C-terminus is that glycine. And when you're finished, you should have one water molecule that is released and formed. 